So the engine didn't run a steam quite as planned today at Beechhurst. So I'm going to revisit the drafting. Um, I'm going to print a, a taper because I can't find my one in six taper that's in the workshop somewhere. Um, I'm going to print a new one now. And here it is done. Having printed it, um, I can already tell. I, I did the drawing for this long enough that it would reach from the blast pipe to the top of the chimney. It's quite a short one because I did it small to increase to decrease the print time. Um, I've actually got a lot of the original file that's as big as it will fit on the printer printing right now I didn't look at how long it'll take I just set it to print so I can already tell this isn't going to work and it explains a lot the top of this which will stick out the top of the ch chimney is smaller than the side damage of the chimney so let's have a look I'm not too big and clever to admit my mistakes so that is the taper sitting in the blast pipe and up at the chimney, there's a bit of slop. So I need to revisit my drawings to discover where I went wrong. So, and then once I know where I've gone wrong, I can look at how to put it right. So back to the drawing board. So I'm not too proud to make more mistakes. I have printed the larger taper and I'm going to sit and redo all my calculations to find out where I went wrong first time round. So I'll do this and then I'll get back to you. So I'm not quite sure how I got it so wrong yesterday, but let me just show you what I'm coming up with now. Uh, blast diameter of 0.2, which is what I had it before. The height from the blast so the choke is uh, seven times the diameter, so about 1.4. That's remained the same. Uh, but starting with a two degree taper on the inside of the chimney, going from the inch at the top down to where the choke diameter is, gives me uh, or it's three and a quarters long and it gives me a choke diameter of 0.78 of an inch so the choke's slightly smaller same distance from the blast nozzle but a lot further from the choke point to the chimney top uh, previously I had the choke to the chimney as 1.6 so yeah it's it's double what I did wrong was I was calculating the the one in twelve and or one in six angle from this choke point to the chimney top, but I got it wrong because it's a one in six overall angle, and I was only looking at the one side. And if you only look at one side, it's one in 12, not one in six. So that's where I made my mistake. So if I get time in the morning, I'm going to make a new liner, uh, fit it, and we'll try and get this to the club tomorrow for a run. So it's early morning. I'm going to try and get this done today, this morning, so that it's ready to run today and try. Um, 
even though the one I made before was wrong, the process of making it is still the same, so I'm not going to play that again. So the, the bar's being cut, trimmed to length at the moment. I'm going to go and make a coffee while it's doing that, and then I'll try and get in the things. See what I can do. So I finished making the piece. Uh, that should be just right. However, I can't get it into the engine. Uh, the blast pipe where it sticks up in the bottom of the uh, smoke box is a bit too high for me to maneuver this in. And I've, something I probably should have done in the first place, I've put that smaller taper that I had back into the I'll put the nozzle on onto the pipe that's stuck up. I put the smaller taper into the last, and to be honest, it's exactly the right length. Um, so I didn't need to make the bigger one at the moment anyway. However, although it's the right length, as you can see, it doesn't meet the chimney. So what I need to do is throttle the top of the chimney to be that size. So I've already got the right size taper. Effectively, the blast nozzle to the choke of this are correct. So if I just shorten the top until, uh, so shorten the whole thing until I get to the point that that taper touches the edge, we've got the right proportions. So that's the next thing. I'm just going to shorten this. Um, annoyingly, if I'd figured that out before, I could have just made it the right size in the first place and saved myself probably half an hour's machining. However, that's the next stage. So I've done that now. Um, but because I haven't got the riser piece in the blast nozzle, under the blast nozzle, what I've done is I've found a bit of rod that fits into the pipe that sticks up inside the bottom of the smoke box. It was off centre, but I've now realigned and got it more or less in the middle of the chimney. So then I can take that off, put the nozzle back on, and it's not going to be gr perfect, but it's going to be better, I think. So we'll give that a go and try it at the club today doesn't work it might be just a case of sharper nozzles things like that to possibly even bigger nozzle who knows um, but we will give it a try and see what happens so I put the taper into the nozzle I will say it's not perfect but it is better than it was before I did this so like I say there's only way, one way to see if it's helped so a little sit rep I am currently on my second lap around the track. Um, the bypass is shut. I'm pumping water into the boiler. No blower, and the safety valves are just whisking away. It's steaming nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that new new petticoat pipe and chimney liner. It is working well so far. So I'll let you know how it goes later on. So this is halfway round the third lap without stopping. So that's a mile non-stop. So it can't be too bad. Two hours later we're still romping around the track. Needs a bit of blower to keep it going. And the only issues I've had in those two hours have been if the ash has built up a little bit in the ash pan, it's started to go off the boil, but get a rake in there and 
knock the ash away and it's good so all good so back from the club it's cars unloaded uh engines put away and what have i learned so as far as i'm concerned the engine's good for now um i can make it steam i've had two and a half hours on track today which is great um with a bit of care you can get multiple laps you just need to keep the cracker blower going um but i would like it to steam a bit better um speaking to dave it's always been like that it's always struggled a little bit to maintain so you need to keep a bit of blower but i think we can do better but i believe that what needs to be done is for the blast pipe to be shortened um not easy it needs disconnecting underneath um but that's a bogey off job to do again um and what else is there so there's if i can i'll like lower the blast pipe by half an inch if I, if there's space um if it's feasible to do um i've got one drain cock that just refuses to shut uh i'll strip that one apart find out why and give it another go um but that's a by the by it's not overly important uh what else the one piston gland needs repacking uh it's actually the same gland that feeds from the same end of the cylinder that has the leaking drain cock i wonder if they're connected i don't think they are but yeah so piston gland um uh drain cock and lower the blast nozzle not the end of the world in fact so not the end of the world that i'm going to get on with something else for the time being and the engine is back on the shelf inside the house so i hope you've found it interesting i hope you've learned from some of my mistakes i've made a couple along the way with this engine um and we will get on with the next task uh and I'll, and I'll let you know with what's going on with that um so for today thanks for watching i uh, hope you've had i hope you've enjoyed what i've done um please do subscribe if you haven't already and tell your friends as well um i'm so close to 900 subscribers and it would be so cool to get to a thousand before too long if i can get to a thousand before christmas that would be fantastic if I can get to it before Halloween, that would be incredible. So, yeah, please do enjoy. Um, keep watching, keep subscribing and take care. And I will be back soon.